All right, so the second phosphate mineral that we have on this list and the last is turquoise, which um, is probably a mineral that you're all um, more used to seeing in things like jewelry or in shops and rock shops, things like that. So um, we have a little copper in here, a little aluminum in here. Look at how stinking long this chemical formula is. Had to get a sticky note, that's how long it is. Um, but when I see turquoise and I think what everyone sees um, from the first guess get-go is the color of turquoise. And I've chosen a couple different ones here because I think this sample has a lot lighter of a color. And then we have this one which has that moderate kind of blue tone. And then this one here that has a really nice deep blue. Um, and so those deeper blue colors are what people look for when they're making jewelry, when they want to, um, when turquoise sells for a higher price point. Another dead giveaway other than color is um, the fact that you will almost never see a good crystal of turquoise. Usually it comes in these kind of porous aggregates. All of this brown here, um, that is... Uh, that is host rock, so that's not what we're talking about. We're only talking about this light blue, um, but it's very, very porous. Um, I'm almost getting like dust on my hands. It's very porous. That's also something that controls that uh, kind of whiteness versus blueness here. Um, and so the hardness can be really variable as well. But this is one of the reasons why we just never see really good crystals. It also makes finding things like cleavage very difficult um, because a lot of these pieces are just made up of such small polycrystalline aggregates that seeing a cleavage face is just not going to be likely. Luster of this is also um, very apparent. Lots of times when you're in shops, they look really shiny and pretty, but those are polished samples. This is what a sample looks like um, when it's really smooth. This almost has some polish to it. Look at how dull that is. Very earthy. Turquoise is one of those earthy luster minerals where it's a textbook example. Even this piece here, that's a lot nicer. I mean, there's barely a reflection, so very earthy. We're absorbing a lot of the light here and not reflecting very much. So, so far we've got color, dead giveaway, no crystals, <laughs> dead giveaway, no cleavage, great, uh, very earthy luster. We'll give hardness a try. Now, because these samples are a little bit more porous, finding the real hardness would be difficult, but it should be harder than this penny here. So we'll give it a go. I also don't want to break this sample because it is quite friable, but let's see what we get. So I have powderized a little bit of the turquoise, but if I look, I did make a scratch in this penny. So it's harder than a penny and should be softer than this nail here. I'll give, you know what, I'll give that nice flat surface a try. Yeah, so I made a nice scratch in there. I've powderized it a little bit. So certainly it's softer than a nail and harder than a penny. Um, and like I said, this is highly variable to the kind of sample that we have. Um, as for density, this is a little bit difficult to judge because with samples like this, we have a lot of host rock here that we're dealing with. And this sample is almost so small, it's difficult to tell. But I will say that for some of the densest minerals that we've covered, even if I had a sample this size, I would be able to feel the heft. And that's not something I feel here. It's moderately low density, um, if anything, probably quite low. Um, anything else this is a triclinic mineral as well. Um, like I said, cleavage is not very apparent. This would not effervesce with, um, with HCl. So if you're stuck between this and something like malachite or smithsonite, that HCl test, well, those wouldn't go either. So I guess that wouldn't help, but it does not effervesce. And let's see, crystal form, clearly not very evident. It likes to form in these massive forms. Um, and I think we have covered streak. Streak, it should be white to light blue. So we'll give this a go, see what we get. So I did streak it here. It is difficult to see but it's certainly white at first glance and only to me in the right lighting can I see the tiniest bit of that blue color, but white streak 
is what I'm going to go with for this one. And I think with that, we have covered everything for turquoise. Honestly, the color and the luster should be your number one giveaways and the fact that you can't see a single crystal face. And there you go, the world's most complicated mineral uh, chemical formula that we've gotten so far, turquoise.